Hey, what's up, guys? It's Apollo Uchiya here, back with a new series. This is going to be a two or three part series. The name of this series, What If Naruto Was a Titan? And yeah, guys, if you like this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's begin our story. Our story begins as we see eight year old Naruto running away from a mob. It was October 10th, the anniversary of Kyuubi's attack and its defeat. As the mob was chasing him, Naruto was running for his life. Come on, run legs as fast as you can. I don't want to get caught by these assholes. Not at this day, at least. Today you shall die, demon, were the calls of the uh, civilian mob as they were running after him. Naruto started to change his route and made his way towards a forest instead of the classic alley. As he ran towards the forest, he said, Come on, come on. Where should I hide? Where should I hide? It's a goddamn forest. I can hide anywhere. They're just goddamn civilians. Get the demon. He's heading towards the forest. Oh, great. Here they come now. Now what? Ah, oh, there. He said looking towards a shed type thing. As he went inside it, as the civilian, one of the civilians saw him. There, inside that shed. He's inside there. As Naruto was like, oh, great. Here they go again. As Naruto tried to hide himself as possible, as he then saw a drum, a drum made out of wood. Huh, I can hide inside that. As Naruto opened it and it was filled with some kind of silverish transparent liquid. Hmm. Oh well, I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. They can search all they want and after they leave, I can come out. <laughs> as Naruto just jumped inside of the barrel as he put the lid on where did he go as naruto jumped inside of it nothing happened at first but suddenly the whole liquid started to force itself down naruto throat as well as inside his cells and pores of his body and skin as naruto's body started to smoke as he started to scream in pain as Everyone then heard there. As they saw it screaming, they didn't touch the barrel. They were laughing. <laughs> burn demon. They got aside and burned. Started to burn the shed. You will burn here. Now die. As they started to cheer as the shed burned. But suddenly, something happened. A lightning struck the shed. Causing it to destroy and shatter into millions of pieces. As from within the shed, a giant figure rose. It was 15 meters tall, and as it roared and looked at them, they were on their knees, shaking like idiots and pissing their pants. What is this? It's it's not the Nine Tails. It's, it's, it's as a Hokage, as the Hokage, as well as his Anbu and clan heads arrived there. What is going on here? As he looked at the figure in front of him, it can't be. These, these are supposed to be myths. They can't be possible. They, they, all of the serum was destroyed by the Sage of Six Bots. He was sad as he was shaking in fear. Then he looked at something that sent shiver down his spine. Oh my god, Hokage sama. What is that? asked Tsunami as Yashi then began. It's a titan. What? You know, Ichi began. Aren't you exaggerating, Hiyashi? They are just myths and stories. Well, you tell me after seeing that whole damn thing. What is it then? Hiyashi said. Ah, oh, what a drag. It is a titan. I have seen one's image in the, sh uh, in the Nara library when I was a child. But I thought of them as a myth. And by the looks of it, it's an armored one. Meaning its skin is unarmored. And only one of them existed in the previous years hmm this is troubling indeed as Hokage said N Naruto is that you as everyone's eyes became wide and they looked at him as Naruto then looked towards the Hokage with his cold piercing blue eyes as he bent it down on all of his force to face the old man as he let some steamy smoke out of his nostrils and mouth. Naruto, is that you, my boy? 
The said Titan shake his head in yes, confirming his suspicions. Oh my god. How? The Titan pointed his huge finger by lifting his hand up towards the destroyed shed and the barrel. Oh no. You mean to say that the last of the Titan serum was in there? What are you talking about? I don't get any of it. Tizunami. Shut up for now. Inumichi said. Oh, come on, Inumichi. Tizunami. Please, quiet. I will inform each and every one of you when we get back to the council chambers. Okage-sama and Anbu asked with silver hair. What should we do of them? He said with venom in his voice. Because he knew that they were the one that caused his little brother this much pain and transformed him into this titan to speak of. As the new cow stepped forward. Okage-sama, it's going to be trouble taking him inside the village and causing so much panic. I will be here and take care of him. And you guys go back and take care of the civilians who were involved. Thank you, Yiko. Everyone, gather up and leave. What about the civilians? Execute them here. You, you can't do this, Okage-sama. And why can't I? I'm done with this shit. Execute them. As each and every one of them were executed. Now it's time for the main fishes to be catched and fried. Hokage said as he left. Back with Konha council chambers. As a certain meeting was called. Why are we here Hokage sama? We were supposed to be out there celebrating the Kyubi's defeat. When the man said that Hokage punched him so hard that his jaw broke. Causing him to leak blood from his mouth. He screamed in agony as the civilians were now downright terrified. Enough! Take your seats or face the same wrath. As they took their seats as the elder arrives, as they saw the dead fat civilian, they became enraged. Hiruzen, are you crazy? The Hokage vanished and appeared in front of Hamura and grabbed his throat and with a sudden snap killed him instantly. Koharu was terrified as was Danzo. What are you doing, Hiruzen? That's Okage-sama to you, you bitch. Everyone was kind of flinched, flinching and scared at that, as well as confused at the sudden rude behavior of their Hokage. Hiruzen, are you gone mad? Oh, and whose fault it is that, I think? Oh yeah, let me guess. You bitch and you assholes are the cause of this. Okage-sama, you can't. Oh, I will. And I'm stripping you all of your powers and rights and seizing all of your property. But, but, we didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, really? I have sent each and every one of your reports to Fire Damio. And he has sent me a letter. In, in that letter was orders for your execution. That letter was called back one week ago. And I was thinking of explaining this to the whole village and waiting for the right moment but you just had to go do this I'm tired of this shit that you're trying to pull and from this moment I am hereby ordering the letter of your execution you shall be executed today and within an hour but but Mukage-sama what about our children and family don't give me that shit you have called and brought this upon yourself now face it like men and women and council members that you power hungry pricks so proud of but okage sama you can't oh i will this is not a democracy you see this is a dictatorship i as okage of this village am the sole ruler and my word is law you have broken it too many times and you will face my wrath anbu take them and prepare them for execution dolphin as an Anbu arrived, go call everyone within the village and children as well to come and see this. Everyone flinched at this, even the clanners. Okage-sama, don't you think it is going extreme? You see Naruto? Isn't that going extreme as well? It's been eight damn years and these people are too shallow and narrow-minded. They can't look past the pain that they're conflicting on a child. I am tired of this as a human being. As a Hokage who let this slide, 
I feel guilty and regret and as well as anger and I will do what sh I should have done when they first attempted this. Now go and bring your children as well. Everyone flinched and did as they were told. After an hour later, the whole village was assembled and they were some kind of confused and terrified that in front of them were the honorable council members of civilian side as well as the elders. People of Konoha, today we are here to witness the execution of the traitors to this village who have not only broken my law as well as has done embezzlement in the fundings of this village for the academy as well as in some ninjas. They have um, paid ransoms and some kind of what is it called again and bribed my ninjas as well. And those ninjas are sent to Ibiki and Inoichi. Because of you people and them mainly, a single child has suffered the most. Naruto Uzumaki. But, but, but Okage-sama, you can't do this. You can't kill all these people for a child. Oh, and if, what if that child was yours? The said civilian became quiet. Tell me. I said, tell me. I, I would, I wouldn't stand for this. So shut up and face it, the Hokage said in anger. Everyone now knew that how fucked they were. And if I ever, ever, by I mean ever again, saw any one of you chasing after Naruto, they will be executed on the spot. This is my new order. As everyone flinched, regardless of them being ninja, anbu, or even a civilian. As now everyone was terrified some of the clan people as well and i am going to reveal naruto's heritage before these people you have heard of kushina uzumaki right as everyone flinched and remembered her he is her son you you mean he is the prince of uzushio as well as the daimyo said sayuri harano yes I, I want him to be married to my daughter. Ah, execute this bitch. As before Sakura and her husband, her mother were executed because of her selfishness. And now for these traitors execution. Execute them as painfully as possible in front of them and make an example out of them. As Kakashi implied and did his right theory, a sky entered into seventh gate and smashed Koharu's head, as well as Asuma with his chakra blades cut out the civilians, as everyone was pissing and peeing their pants. Remember this, if any one of you ever tried to go against my orders or law, this will happen to you, regardless of your age. Get it? As everyone nodded vigorously, now leave. And with that said, everyone left. Now they were terrified and afraid of ever going near Naruto. And as for Naruto and Yugo, they were still back in the opening. Naruto? Um... Are you in there? Yugo said after breaking minutes of silence. Naruto nodded, looking towards her. Um, can you turn back to your, I mean, normal self? Naruto just stared at her and nodded his head indicating negative uh, I should have known would you like some ramen she test out her theory Naruto started to jump and nod vigorously <sighs> she dead man still the same old Naruto I guess well that's good so um Naruto Naruto calm down you're gonna break the whole area as Naruto did so and he did a classic Naruto thing he put his hand behind his head and scratched his back of his head into a sheepish looking face but dad looked terrified as he bent it down so that he couldn't be discovered far away in the forest somehow Orochimaru was there meeting his informant Kabuto as both of them heard the whole uh, thing going on as they arrived there and when they did Orochimaru was surprised and 
kind of regretting not taking that syrup because he was the one who first found it but left it there because he was afraid of his powers and now he saw that only a jinchuriki was able to sustain its cruel uh, treatment of attaining that power he was now looking at naruto with interest filled eyes interesting hmm a titan the ones that were thought of as myth the ones that roamed our world before even ninja existed hated humans and only some of them were able to become titans mainly Aaron Yeager hmm, the one that was known as the founding titan but he was convinced by the sage of six boss when he arrived and was defeated by the rabbitier goddess and sealed permanently hmm this is interesting interesting indeed and a new titan arrival here a first humanoid titan that can think as a human this is going to be interesting i should think of a plan that will make naruto comes towards me for searching for power Fuck Uchiha, I want the titan body now. Ugh, pedophile. As for Kabuto, he was afraid of Naruto. This is a titan. Mother used me tell about him in the stories, but now that I see him, it's, it's terrifying. I should be careful. As for Naruto and Yagao, they didn't know. And back with Orochimaru and... Kabuto. Both of them left after seeing the whole scenario and looking at Naruto after what seemed like two hours. As they were jumping from trees to trees, Orochimaru said, Kabuto, I want you to keep a close eye on this Naruto Uzumaki. I want him to be monitored. This is certainly interesting indeed. A titan that thinks like human. <laughs> after Eren Yeager, he's the first one. And he reached a level of founding titan that could create thousands of titans as his own army. The single snap was of his finger. <laughs> Interesting indeed. I would like to attain that body. But it is impossible because he is the Jinchuriki. I have to somehow get his DNA and replicate it. As back with Naruto and y Yugo, Naruto started to smoke. As Yukao became afraid, Naruto, what is happening? As suddenly, Naruto's whole figure started to turn into skeleton. As the smoke died down, Yukao was afraid that Naruto might have died. Naruto? She called out in very tone. But when the smoke cleared, she saw a naked 8-year-old boy lying in between the ribcage of the skeleton figure. Naruto had some weird markings under her under his eyes as Yukao made her, her way there. Yugao unwrapped her cloak and wrapped it around Naruto's naked body and bridal style carried him back to the village, hurriedly. Hang on Naruto, I'm going to take you to Hokage-sama. As Yugao and Naruto made their way, rushing towards Konoha's Hokage mansion, the village was kind of empty as Yugao saw it. As she made her way towards the Hokage mansion where the remaining council, which was mainly the clan heads as well as Kokage, were there. As she rushed and rushed through the door, crying out, Kokage-sama, Naruto turned back in, into himself, his human self, I mean. As Kokashi jumped down from the shadows and did not let me see him, Yuga, as Hiruzen also made his way there. As Naruto was sleeping in her arms, Tora, go call my physician. As Tora nodded and left. As for Hiruzen, he tried to wake up Nar Naruto. This Naruto twist, uh, squinted his eyes and opened them. Did he? He said, You? He said in a rough, sleepy tone. <sighs> How are you feeling, my boy? He said, his gaze turning softer. I, I feel weird. Uh, one moment I was chased after the after by the villagers and I hid myself in some kind of liquid or water thingy in a barrel and the next moment I don't remember anything 
Hmm, interesting. Hokage thought. Well, anyways, Naruto, you will you will be alright. I have sent out from a physician. He will look and examine your body. Thanks, Gigi. Ah, oh, my head hurts. You know, Gigi, I think I have a weird dream that I turned into a huge human-like thing and people were like ants in front of me. As Hokage chuckled, <laughs> then you arrived with your ninjas and these flashy people over there. As the whole uh, shinobi side of the council face faulted and had a sweat drop. And look, as they looked at each other with questioning eyes, that only question, are we that flashy? Anyways, back to the story. The Hokage chuckled. <laughs> well, my boy, it was all a weird dream, you can say. And now rest. You will be examined by my physician soon. As he said this, Tora and his physician arrived via Sunshin. He risen. What is going on? Ah, Shinto. My buddy, look at, look at this boy for me, will ya? As he looked towards the blonde locks as well as the blue eyes, blue tired eyes looking at him, he became wide eyed. I'm on it. Lie him on the table. As they did, when Naruto saw he was naked, his face turned red as he tried to cover his manhood. It's alright, Naruto. Let me examine you. But, but, he looked towards Yugao, who looked away with a blush on her face, as well as Tizumi, who, who whistled and looked away. As the clan heads as well, embarrassed. Hmm. Uh, after half an hour of examination, Shinto and Hiruzen made their way outside of the council chambers as he dismissed his remaining council. And as he did, they were on the hallway of Okage Mansion and talking. So, did you find anything troubling? No, not at all, Hiruzen. He's fine. The only trouble I faced was that his blood flow seemed to go in reverse. Is that harmful? No, not at all. His blood flow is flowing normally, but in reverse direction than us, normally. Hmm, that is quite intriguing. Yes, and that silver liquidish thing that he mentioned is turned into his blood cells and is flowing within him, giving him a Kekigenkai permanently. What did he turn into again? He called a titan. You got to be kidding me. The stories ones, the one that originated from the Aaron Jaeger? Yes, the same one. Hmm, this is troubling indeed. I think he is the second humanoid titan. If Aaron Yeager even existed, that is. Hmm, that is troubling indeed. We must locate every and each aspect of Konha and see if there are any more of these barrels. Hmm, we should. And Shinto, before you go. Risen said, pausing him in his tracks. What about the two of them? They have been sleeping for past eight years. Shinto became wide eyed and then realized what Hiruzen was talking about. Hmm, Hiruzen, you don't need to worry about them. They are perfectly fine. And I can tell you that much that they aren't in coma. They are just sleeping, like hibernation. They will wake up soon. I hope they do or early because it's been eight years they are they will be missing their son's life out if they keep on sleeping i know the irony oh boy we're gonna face a lot of wrath from her <laughs> you're right my friend anyway please take care of them for me you know i will always will you know that yeah shinto i know thanks buddy as shinto left Ruzen was in his own thought I hope you both wake up early. Kushina, Minato. Yes, both Kushina and Minato were alive. Flashback. The day of QB being sealed. Bevako was not killed by the said masked man. Because she was a ninja, she avoided it. But the sealing was going as planned. But Instead of Minato using it, Bigawako kicked him in the neck and shot him towards Kushina, who was also being helped by the Manics at the time. 
rendering Minato unconscious as well. As Hiroshin watched in horror as his wife was the one that stabbed that was stabbed by the nine tails claw as she began the sealing process and sealed the nine tails inside of Naruto as her last words were look after our adopted grandson Ruzen eyes were widened Kushina had named Wako godmother of Naruto meaning he was godfather of Naruto and Wako considered Naruto her adopted grandson, so did Hiruzen now. That is why this was the last straw for Hiruzen. This was the end of the flashback. And since that day, both of them were unconscious. <sighs> why did you have to kick him so hard in the head, honey? He's been unconscious for goddamn eight years. Ah, <sighs> that is why I never angered her throughout our marriage years. I hope you are in heaven, resting in peace. Oh boy. Yurizen said as he left for his mansion to rest. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this part of guys. I hope you like this one and if you do, please leave a like and comment down below on what should occur in the next part of this series as well as the ship of this series. You guys recommend it and guys, only two ships. Because third one is selected as you go already. Okay? So this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace.